What you want to do is when you come to this dungeon, trying to maximize your damage, trying to do a speed run to maximize your leveling up, this is what you do. No, I won't stop. How's it going buddy boys and buddy girls? This is Kelvin here and today I'm going to teach you guys how to level up super duper fast in Dungeon Quest. That's right, Dungeon Quest is the current number one game and everybody wants to learn how to level up as soon as possible. But before we begin, make sure you smash that like button, share and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notifications. Alright, let's get the party started. As you guys can see, I am a level 60 sword user right now. I have discovered a few good tips to level up really fast. Make sure you watch the full clip though, because all these tips will be scaling from newbies tips to pro tips. So let's do this. Tip number one. In this scene, we are actually playing a dungeon with a bunch of people, but that is actually not the good thing. We want to play with as little people as possible because when we play with a bunch of people, the damage, the HP, or the monsters, they multiply by many, many times and it becomes extremely difficult to even kill a single one. That is actually a very big tip because everybody thinks that, oh, with more help, we can do this. But the problem is that also increases the difficulty of the dungeon. So for this specific tip, the best way to level up as quickly as possible is to do the dungeon either yourself or maybe do it with two other people, one other person, do a duo, do a trio, and that way you can get through the dungeon extremely fast because the monster HP is not so high anymore. Alrighty, so tip number two. We're back at the town right now and we're gonna go to the upgrade section. And I want to explain to you guys what you guys should put into stats. First off, you want to put in stats for physical or spell. You wouldn't want to split that up. You don't want to put some in spell. You don't want to put some in physical. You want to choose one. You can definitely get some health if you want some armor. But upgrading your physical or upgrading your spell, you can actually kill the monsters a lot faster. And henceforward, finish the dungeon immediately. And of course, let's go a little more in depth right here. And these colors represent how rare these items are. We start off with some no color, we go into green, we go into blue, we go into purple, and eventually we go on to orange. That is what a legendary is, and that is the final rarity in equipment. Okay, so this is tip number three. What you want to do is go into your settings and change it to shift lock mode if you haven't already. Uh, what's going to happen is by being able to be in shift lock mode, you're going to be able to press shift and aim your skills directly forward just like this. So you're probably wondering why shift lock mode? Why do I need to aim forward? Because when you're not in shift lock mode and you're running away from monsters and let's say you want to hit them back and you press the E, look, you're actually hitting yourself. You're not hitting the monsters. So you do actually do want shift lock mode because when you do shift lock, you're facing forward and now I'm aiming forward and bam, there we go. We are not missing no more misfires anymore. So, all right, so this is tip number four. It's actually a pretty pro tip. What you want to do is when you come to this dungeon, trying to maximize your damage, trying to do a speed run to maximize your leveling up, this is what you do. You lure all the monsters in a bunch and get ready, and you're going to kapow, get rid of them in one go. By doing this, you will actually clear the entire stage in such a short time, and you'll get through the dungeon just like a breeze. All right, this is tip number five. This is actually not part of the game, but I'm going to show you guys how to get access to the Dungeon Quest Community Discord. This is exactly where you want to go to get the newest updates, the newest information, item tradings, looking for parties, speed runs. We're going to go to VCappy's games, and um, you're going to need approved by the owner. Uh, we have some general chat here. We have some images, some trading party requests, bug reports, player reports, suggestions. You know, just things like that. And of course, a lot of creator content is also here as well for you to check out. I will have that Discord link in the description box below if you want to get that link and go there and join that Discord. You do not want to miss out to get that upper hand to get your booty from level 0 to level 70, 80, 90, whatever the heck the max level is. Yes, sir. Alrighty, guys. That is five tips for the fastest way to level up from zero to hero. I believe that everyone can make use of these tricks and tips and everyone is going to be able to succeed at this game. If you like the video, make sure you smash that like button, share and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notifications. Until we play again next time. Peace out, y'all.